Hi everyone, my name is Denise Back more and I'm with HowCraftCollection.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my December Rocks bracelet. This bracelet features our new large stone uh, beads just added to the website and um, some Costa Rican rosewood beads. Okay, here we go. Um, project information, all uh, the bead counts, everything you need, the project um, supplies are on the website in PDF form if you need to print them out. Okay, so I'm going to cut two 30 inch lengths of three ply wax linen cording. I'm gonna trim the end to equal lengths and I'm going to form a needle at the end. We are stringing a six millimeter jump ring, about eight inches. I like to leave um, a lot of cords, cording on the end for when I string the dangles at the end. It's easier to form the knots that way. We just formed an overhand knot and we're gonna pull it tight. Okay, we're going to separate the strands. We're going to string a spacer bead. Two silver rondelles. A turquoise reconstituted stone rondelle. two silver rondelles, and our Costa Rican rosewood two-hole spacer. And then we're gonna string that up. Let's get this strand out of the way. We're gonna string that up. Now we're going to go to our second strand. We are going to string the silver spacer. Two silver rondelles. Turquoise rondelle. Two silver spacers. We're gonna bring that down to the end and we're going to string it through the other side of our rosewood bead. Okay, so there's the beginning of our bracelet. Okay, using one strand We're going to string our silver rondelle, turquoise rondelle, silver rondelle, our Costa Rican rosewood square bead, <clears throat> excuse me, silver rondelle, Costa Rican rosewood bead. two silver rondelles, turquoise rondelle, two silver rondelles, and our spacer bead. We're gonna move these up. Let me get that strand out of the way. We're going to pick up our second strand. We're going to string our silver rondelle, turquoise rondelle, silver rondelle, Costa Rican rosewood square bead. Silver rondelle, 
Costa Rican rosewood bead. Two silver rondelles. Turquoise rondelle. Two silver rondelles. and a silver spacer bead. We're gonna move that up. Okay, so now you can see the beginning of our bracelet starting to form. Next, we're going to pick up or pick out which um, pink opal faceted stone we wanna use. I like this one. So we're going to go to the end of our cording and we're going to trim it. We're going to form our needle. And we're going to string the pink opal faceted rectangular stone. Okay, we move that there. Now we're going to leave the cords together. We're gonna string a silver rondelle. Next is our Amazonite faceted stone. Amaz Amazonite is one of my absolute favorite, favorite stones. I love the color. Okay, we're gonna move that up. We're gonna string our silver rondelle. Our next bead is a rhodonite uh, lentil, stone lentil. Really pretty mauve color. We're gonna bring that up. Silver spacer. Turquoise rondelle. Silver spacer. Next, we're going to string our strawberry quartz bead. These are really beautiful. They're faceted. So we're gonna string that and move it down. Two silver rondelles. Oops, my needle came apart there. Let's fix that. Okay, two silver rondelles, turquoise rondelle, two silver rondelles, there goes that needle again, and our spacer bead. Okay, so let's look at it, make sure everything's nice and lined up. Now we're going to string our lobster clasp. So form your needle. String your lobster clasp down. So let's butt it up right there. We're gonna form our overhand knot. Okay, so I'm holding it and we're just gonna move it down to go right up against there. And then we're gonna pull it tight. Okay, so we're done with the bracelet. So now we're gonna add our little dangles on each side of the bracelet. And separate the strands. 
And the little dangles, you can do really any way you want. You can add or subtract the little beads. We're gonna string the spacer bead. Six rondelles. Sometimes these little beads are hard to string. They're so thin, but I love the look of them. So there's three, four, five, six. And we're gonna string three turquoise. And then three silver rondelles. And then a spacer bead. We're gonna bring it up. And we're gonna form an overhand knot, making sure that's nice and close. We're bringing it down. And then we're gonna do a double knot. So I form one knot, and now I'm going over the second knot. That way it won't move. I'm gonna trim the end of that, grabbing our chain nose pliers. We're gonna fray the end. If you've seen my videos before, I always frame my ends. I like the look. Okay, so we're going to go to our second little dangle. We're going to string our spacer bead. Three silver rondelles. Turquoise rondelle. Four silver rondelles. And then our silver spacer bead. We're gonna move that down to the end of the bracelet gonna form our first overhand knot. I'm not gonna move that down. And then we're gonna form a second overhand knot right over the first knot so that the bead doesn't move. Going to trim the end. Grab our chain nose pliers. Fray the end. Okay, so those are the little dangles. So let's do the other side. Separating the strands. We're gonna string our silver spacer. Four turquoise rondelles. Or silver rondelles. Sorry about that. Turquoise rondelle. Silver bead. We're going to make sure that's nice and tight. We're going to form our overhand knot. And we're going to form. 
form the second overhand knot right over the first since this cording is thin. Sometimes if you use larger cording, you don't have to do this, but it's a cool trick so that the beads don't move. Actually, I'm gonna do that one more time. Over it, yeah. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna push that down. We're gonna trim the end. little dangle. We're string our spacer bead. Two silver rondelles. Four turquoise rondelles. And then five silver. Five silver rondelles. And our spacer bead. Okay, we're making sure it's bedded up right to the end. We're gonna form our overhand knot. Moving it down, form our second overhand knot, moving it down right up against there, push the knot down, trim the end. Grab our chain nose pliers and we're gonna fray. Okay, there you go. This is my December Rocks bracelet with the new large stone beads from howcraftcollection.com. Um, PDF instructions can be found on the website, and I hope you enjoyed this video.